Good morning. This is Lou Vanderwig, pastor of the Goodland United Methodist Church. Thank you for joining me in this Christian devotion for Wednesday, April the 1st, 2015, as part of the Good Neighbor Hour. Mark 12, verses 18 through 27 says, Some Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to him and asked him a question, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us that if a man... Brother, a man's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child. The man shall marry the widow and raise up children for his brother. There were seven brothers. The first married, and when he died, left no children. And the second married the widow and died, leaving no children. And the third likewise. None of the seven left children. Last of all, the woman herself died. In the resurrection, whose, whose wife will she be? For the seven had married her. Jesus said to them, Is not this the reason you are wrong, that you know neither the scriptures nor the power of God? For when they rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. And as for the dead being raised, have you not read in the book of Moses, in the story about the bush, how God said to him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is God not of the dead, but of the living. You are quite wrong. This question of the Sadducees is one of several questions asked Jesus after his triumphal entry and before his crucifixion by religious leaders in an effort to trip him up and discredit his message. This particular question revolves around the Leverett marriage law that required a man to marry his deceased brother's wife and she to marry him in an effort to give the brother a male heir. The Sadducees asked the question in the context of the big debate between Sadducees and Pharisees over resurrection. The Pharisees believed in a resurrection of the dead, and the Sadducees did not. Jesus foils every effort of the religious leaders to trap him with a riddle. He always brings the conversation back to a reality about God that challenges those who are asking. Sometimes in our own faith journey and in the life of the church, we can become so focused on finding answers for the riddles of life that we miss the realities about God. Most theological arguments are not about what we know, but rather are about things that only God knows. The nature of the resurrection and how heaven is are still popular topics of debate in religious circles and at holiday dinners around uh, holiday dinner tables. This Wednesday of Holy Week is a day to focus. It is not a day to focus on how much we know and how we are right. It is a day to focus on the ignorance of our sin and our need for God's grace. It is a day to focus on the darkness of being lost and separated from God. It is a day to ready ourselves to hear, learn, and receive again the miraculous story of salvation. As we journey through these coming days, we do well to shed the myth of our own greatness and understanding and receive anew the transforming truth of God's great and perfect love. Let us pray the words to the song written by Adelaide Pollard in 1902. Have thine own way, Lord, have thine own way. Thou art the potter, I am the clay. Mold me and make me after thy will, while I am waiting, yielded and still. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. On behalf of the Goodland United Methodist Church, this is Pastor Lou Vanderwig wishing you a good day filled with the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ.